So, acquisition of language, what's going on in the brain there? Prenatally, you are already begin to get, okay, let's cut the brain. There you have it. There's the brain in cross-section cutting right through there. And what we have, this is the left side, is thickening of what would be Broca's, thickening of Wernicke's. It's around 12 to 16 weeks of age in a fetus that you begin to see different patterns of gene expression around here versus there. And a couple of these are genes that have already been identified to have mutations in families with language production disorders. So th around then, begin to have differential gene expression. By around 30 weeks, this part is now thicker than on this side. You're beginning to get the structural asymmetry. Interestingly, during the first few years of language, you don't see enhanced metabolism on this side relative to that side when kids are talking, even amid the right side of their face being more expressive. It's not until a few years that you lateralize all the metabolic activation there. Next bit of development that's pertinent is that stuff about myelin. Myelin, you remember the axons, and you wrap them up with myelin, and your frontal cortexes, which are not myelinated fully yet, and most of you guys, what you see developmentally with language is something not terribly earth-shattering, which is kids tend to myelinate their Wernicke's area about three months before they myelinate their Broca's area kids are starting to comprehend language before they are producing it. So Wernicke's is beginning to wire up around nine months of age. Typically, Broca's takes a few months past that. That's the time course.